Hello everyone, it is me Danya and, to- and today I will be showing a tutorial on how to use a beast paint. Or you can say a beast paint as well. I call it a beast paint. And a beast paint is a drawing app and it's pretty cool and I use it every time I draw. So let's start. Oh, and before we start, I wanted to tell you that at the end of the, this video, I am going to be showing you how I draw on a beast paint. It'll it'll probably be bad for you guys, like weird, but don't judge it, please. So let's go on with the video. So first, we have the transform tool. So if you click on it, I drew six over here. So you click on the transform tool and then there's the trans there's the translate scale so you so it can move wherever it wants the six and then here's the perspective form the six can go like this and yeah oh and by the way you don't have to draw a six you can draw whatever you want because that's what every sprint is all about drawing whatever you want i'm sure you already knew that i'm just giving you an example so for example i made my six like that then i can move it wherever i want like here 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 then we have the mesh form so what we do over here is we can we can make it in any funny way we want it's really funny and really cool and you can also move it like the other forms this is probably the coolest one i'd say it's really cool now let's see the draw it is okay let, let's just leave this okay now that's how i made my six so let's go just redo it now what we have i just do six again and now we have to go on to the magic wand so you click on the magic wand and you click over here for example and it just loads for me Okay, so for example, now it has a selection everywhere. So it can only draw over there. Like for example, I draw that. But then if you try to draw over here, oh wait. So if you try to, let's just wait for it to load again. You know what happened? So if you try to write and make it here, then it doesn't work. See, it's a miracle. The magic wand can do that. It's pretty cool. That's why I tell you, if you ever can, if you want to draw really badly and you don't have an app and you don't have enough papers to draw because you're a really bad drawer and you want be able to draw with only one paper like you'll fail a lot then you can probably use a beast paint this is a really good app you can use okay now let's go on with the second thing i mean the third thing the third thing is the lasso for example you click on the lasso and then you make a circle around your six sorry about that okay then you click on yeah, that thing again and then you see the translate skill and the perspective form and the mesh form again. So basically, yeah, it can do the same thing. And yeah, the translate skill can make it bigger and smaller as well. I forgot to tell you guys that. And here's the perspective form. It can do the same exact thing as I told you. So now we have the filter. So the filter allows you to like make your thing, make make your drawing like really cool, I guess. It can blur your things. It has a lot of cool filters you can use. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next thing. And let's go. Okay, so now we have to go on 
do the brush and obviously the brush allows you to draw whatever you want that's how i do the six and this one thing so now that's the easy one. Oh, and i forgot to tell you this is the this is the thingy this is the thing that allows you to okay this is the thing that allows you to make your pen thicker or thinner see it's like this before and now it's like this pretty cool huh now now what we have to do now what we have to do is go on oh wait what am i saying go on now what we have to do is we have to go into the colors of course you have to click on here and then you can see your colors and you can choose whatever you want i'm just gonna keep on going with black and there's also this that shows the pens that you can choose from there are a lot of pens that you can choose from but a lot of them are for ads if you have the premium then you don't need to get an ad for all of these but i don't have premium so i don't so i have to use the ads i don't mind it but yeah here are all the pens you can choose from there are a lot so now here's the opacity we can make it how much we want it's pretty cool see it's like that it's really cool it's so cool i love it so much and i use it a lot and here's and now we have the eraser everyone knows what this does it just erases what you it just erases it just erases now we have the smudge so this might be new to you all but yeah the smudging basically does oh wait why is it sliding so smudging does like this look i think we have to make something cooler so for example for example i make um i don't know for example i try to make this i try to make a box i mean a rectangle and then i color it with black and then i try to use smudging then it can do that it's like really cool i love smudging i love the smudging a lot it helps really amazingly in a lot of ways see the rectangle turn into this it's pretty cool this is why i i don't i'm telling you you should definitely check out this app it be spent i b i s p a i n t and then there's actually an x at the end but i don't really say that much so now here we have the blur we all know what that does or maybe some of you don't know so basically it blurs up it blurs up whatever you want it to blur actually if you make the blur thing the thickest then it really lags so i'm not really going to try that so basically the blur didn't do a lot the blurring blurs as i already said see it blurs it so for example you want to make a character and then you want to blur it so people won't figure out how it exactly looks then you can use the blur and now we have special the special can do a uh, it just gives special stuff and it wasn't like this before it wasn't on the main menu i think this is the main menu so basically i'm going to tell you what i see so the opacity here here's the opacity you can make it like this much or this much like then if you make it low then it'll be like um why isn't it working right now yeah then it can like make it it can look very clear like you know that type of clear okay so now let's go on oh wait if you make it high then it will be exactly black i guess or no it will be exactly white like that it will work like out like that so now we have to go on to we have to go on to the bucket so you probably know what the bucket is for but for the people who don't know basically for example i make a type of rectangle and i and i want it to be colored but i don't want to use the brush for it i don't feel like using the brush 
So then I click on the bucket and then I just I just tap inside the box and then it just colors like that. And of course the color can be chosen into whatever you want. For example, I choose that color and it turns into that color. Easy. That's pretty simple. Some of you might know all of this. Some of you might know what the bucket is for, but I'm just doing this for the people who don't know. After all, this is a tutorial for everything that I know, at least. I don't know everything about Ivy Spin, but I'm just showing you most or all of the things I know. Of course, you'll just have to erase this rectangle because this was just for an example. Okay, this is lagging a lot. Um, so I'll be right back when this is done. 